And your soul never ends or dies. It does not have an experience like the human experience where there is the birth and the death of the body. Your soul continues to live on. Whether that soul decides to take a body again is soul's choice. But the soul lives on and will continue to. So therefore our soul always existed there was no beginning we'll put it in this way in the beginning there was just the one and okay. the one individualized itself into the souls which then became the consciousness of each of you and all of those that went before you and all of you those that will be in the future so yes, in the beginning, there was one, which then individuated itself into individual souls as it moved in creation. Okay, good. I understand that. So also, if a soul has had a physical life on earth, does that soul usually choose to return to earth for soul expansion? Or might the soul choose to expand in other places in the universe? It is always soul's choice, but you have a mix. It's a mixed bag. You might have a soul that wants to come in and have an experience as a animal. And then the next lifetime wants to have an experience as a human. And maybe the next time they want to, will sit it out for a lifetime, so to speak. And then would later say, I'm ready to take a body again. Or you might have some souls that are just ready to roll up their sleeve and they go from body to body to body to body to body. And they never take a break until they're ready to say, okay, done. Or they continue on and on. So it is very different. And it is always the co-creation of the soul with the divine. It is what they are looking for. It is uh, not in so many words, but for human mind to understand. It is if the divine wants to individuate itself inside of a certain circumstance and situation and the soul agrees and says, boom, we'll go down. I'll be your, I'll be your person, so to speak. I'll be your soul that you can come through, through this person that you're wanting to express yourself as. It's always through the soul because it's a... If you think of it from a vibrational place, a multidimensionality place, it comes from like the diagram that Christy showed you during this experience. It's the wholeness into the, the coming down in energy into the soul body, which then comes into a higher self and down into personality. The energy has to lower itself in vibration in order to be in a physical form. And it now yes. needs to do that through a soul. And so what I was also wondering about then, if you, like we're in our, the earth um, lifetime now, would we choose to be somewhere else but not on the earth plane? Yes, you can, dear one. But that is an individual choice that you will make as a soul when you are back in non-physical. And remember, there's no time in space. You can go and come very quickly. So when we go back into non-physical, what do we do? You dance, you party, you float, you fly, you, you celebrate. You're just in energy. You're okay. in pure bliss without any time constraints, without any restriction. It's just pure bliss. Awesome. And just one last thing. Um, when our soul makes the choice to return uh, for another soul um, expansion, does the soul know that it will forget why it was choosing to take the physical form? And if it does, is that part of the learning process? That if it is. We yes? It's part of the consciousness part of the process. It's part of the remembrance part of the process. It's for the soul to remember love and expand in love regardless of circumstances or situations. So it does not have the memory of why it chose. It doesn't even remember that it chose until someone conscious like yourself sits in front of someone that says, you chose to be here. And the soul goes, yes, that's true. And you also chose your parents, by the way. Wait a minute. That's true too. 
there's a remembrance when you bump up against these spiritual truths. That's where Christy, when she first sat in front of her meditation teacher, and she didn't say you chose to be here or that you chose your parents. She said, you create your own reality. And her soul inside of her, she felt this visceral, yes, that's true. And she went, I don't never heard that before. And there's a part of me that absolutely knows that to be true. And then her mind kicked in and said, how? And then again, the teacher spoke very spiritual truths of you are attracting or repelling experiences in your life, but the thoughts you think. And that soul went, yes. And then her mind kicked in and went, how? So there's this soul recognition, this soul remembrance that comes out. And all of you, you would not be here. All of you have had moments, many, many moments of this soul remembrance. Finding those spiritual like breadcrumbs that you left for yourself before you came into the body. And when we then go back into uh, the one consciousness, do we sort of like reassess that, oh, I was coming for this expansion and didn't quite get to that, so I would choose that again? Is there some sort of, or do you just go back and be in the bliss? And You go back and be in the bliss. There's no judgment. It, it, it is funny where some religions will say, okay, there's the pearly gates and then there's the judgment period. There really is none. It's all love. No. No reflection on anything with this lifetime? Okay. No, there's no judgment. Did you get it or did you not? This is a story that people in the religions to control the people in the masses that you're going to be judged when you go back. And you're going to be judged. Did you do good or did you go bad? Because this will then determine if you go high or if you go low. And this is, was a way is a nice story for children in the, in the churches. It's a good consequence reward. And it's just a way to maintain, maintain order. And it's a way to keep people in drama triangle by manipulating and controlling them. But it is not a spiritual truth. You don't go through any gates and there is no heaven or hell. You just go back into, ah, oh, like at the end of the day, you've been wearing high heels and makeup and, and you take off your high heels and you put your sweatpants on, you take your makeup off and you sit on the couch and you go, ah, that's a thousandfold. Oh, awesome. Thank you so much, Council. You're welcome. Been great learning. Thank you.